Um, so with that, I'm going to go ahead and drag this screen over. All right, so here you can see what I am connected to is I'm connected to my demo instance that's actually in the cloud. And this is the No Touch Center virtual appliance. This is the virtual appliance that you can download from our website. <clears throat> and just to differentiate the two pieces, right? It's one appliance, but within the appliance, you obviously get a configuration panel to be able to manage and control the appliance itself. And then once the appliance is stood up and running, obviously you have the ability to connect to No Touch Center, which is the interface for then managing the endpoint devices, whether they be IoT type devices or the VDI type devices. So all the things you would expect to be able to do with an appliance, you know, I'm sure everybody's gotten used to uh, standing up appliance, whether it be in Hyper-V, ESX, whatever your hypervisor of choice is, um, and it's a relatively small and lightweight one. Um, and once you stand that up, then obviously the multiple things that you can do with the appliance, like you can import images. These are the desktop images that you can import into the appliance to be able to push out and deliver out to the endpoint devices. And you control how you want to be able to push those things out. Then, of course, there's the different management components for the virtual appliance, uh, you know, system information about the virtual appliance. You know, so this gives you all the, the version information, how much disk space, all those types of things that you they're using. And if this was an on-prem instance as well, you'd see the Pixie configuration where you can go ahead and configure NoTouch Center to be a Pixie server because, of course, the Pixie server is included in NoTouch. And that way, if you're doing a live boot or a live boot install, you can go ahead and use the Pixie services. Um, the, the system logs, again, these are all the typical things you would expect to see out of an appliance. Maintenance, you know, so you can do the updates. You can do the backups, all the things you would expect to be able to do at an appliance. You can set the password, et cetera, all, all the things you would want to do to a standard appliance um, and, and for, you know, any type of an environment for what you're doing, okay? So there's not a whole lot to the appliance itself. It's a, like I said, it's a it's a lightweight Linux appliance that you can stand up on any hypervisor, and uh, realistically, you can probably have it up and running in about five minutes. <clears throat> One of the key things, though, that I like to point out to people with the appliance and something that you'll definitely want to do in your environment is by default the No Touch Center appliance comes with a default host name of TCMGR. Um, think of that as like thin client manager, right? So if you set up a DNS A record for TCMGR, anything that is running no touch OS by default will try to resolve that uh, DNS name. And if it can resolve TCMGR, those devices will automatically check into your no touch center so that you'll be able to manage those devices. And that's really important because I'll show you in just a few minutes where you can configure that. If you've got it set up where the devices can automatically resolve TCMGR and you can set up automatic assignment rules, you can literally set this set it up, set your infrastructure and your environment up so that the devices, you could take a device out of the box or an OS, install it on a machine, and at first boot, it would be able to resolve TCMGR, automatically check into No Touch Center, and then basically automatically self-profile or provision itself so that it becomes a hands-off environment. 